1923 Spencer Dutton the real grandfather of Yellowstone's John Dutton? Several clues, grievous injuries, and some heavy foreshadowing for Spencer Dutton may change everything we assumed about the Dutton family tree. You must come here. But before we dive in, please be wary of spoilers for both 1923 and older seasons of Yellowstone ahead. The intense events of 1923 Season 1 Episodes 3 and 4 may have entirely reworked the Dutton family tree, and Taylor Sheridan may have just thrown us an ingenious curveball for our favorite fictional family. How so? The Dutton dynasty could be switching from the lineage of John Dutton Sr. to his younger brother, Spencer, as 1923 continues. You are not the <laughs> It boils down to this. Will Jack and Elizabeth, or Spencer and Alexandra, birth the next generation of this family, or both? We've got some major clues and solid theories as to what may happen, so be sure to stick around for those. And let us know in the comments below who you think will carry on the Dutton bloodline. Alright, so far it has made the most sense for John Dutton Sr.'s son, Jack, to continue on his father's legacy, and he would do so with Elizabeth Strafford. Their pairing could produce the next Dutton ancestor around 1924, which would line up perfectly with the age of the next next John Dutton Sr., the elderly father to Yellowstone's John Dutton, who was played by Dabney Coleman in those season 2 flashbacks. Actor Dabney Coleman was born in 1932 and was almost 90 when he filmed those scenes for Yellowstone's flashbacks, which took place a solid 10 years prior to any events of the show's main timeline. This makes Coleman's John Sr. around 90 and let's say 2010. This would also place the birth of his character somewhere in the 1920s, making 1923's Jack and Elizabeth the perfect age and candidates for his parents, or they were, until Elizabeth was shot in the stomach. 1923's John Dutton Sr. meets a tragic end in that hellish episode 3 ambush too, but his lineage is already secure in Jack, and what happens next for their branch of the Dutton family tree rests entirely in Elizabeth's recovery or demise. Elizabeth is young and strong and capable of surviving a gunshot wound to the torso, sure, but where that bullet hit her in the abdomen will determine whether she is able to safely become pregnant, carry, then birth a child. She could also die of an infection from her wound, which her fever hints at in episode 4. Don't like this fever. The events of 1923 also tell us that Spencer Dutton is to come home from Africa. Not only this, but Spencer and his fiancée Alexandra see the face of their son in each other as they wax poetic in episode 3. I see the boy in you now. I see our boy in you. I see him in you. And if I were a betting man, I'd say that Sheridan is setting us up for a true bait-and-switch, in which Spencer and Alexandra get that son, and he becomes imperative to the Dutton family tree. If this is the case, then it would be Spencer who names his son John after his late older brother. We'd have to rewrite our entire Dutton family tree as a result. But hey, if that's the price of great storytelling, I'll take it. There is a lot of foreshadowing for this happening around Spencer, too. Here are those storytelling clues and Easter eggs we've noticed that may be establishing Spencer as the key to everything. Number one, the mustache. It's all in the mustache for the Dutton men. Spencer rocks an excellent stash in 1923, which we also see the elder John Sr. of Yellowstone sport. Even both incarnations of young John Dutton, Josh Lucas and Kevin Costner, also keep their upper lip warm in their flashback scenes. And as anyone with mustaches in the family will tell you, sons are a whole lot more likely to grow one and keep it if their forefathers did too. Interesting fact, to be sure. Number 2. Elsa Dutton's Knife As we pinpointed in our previous Easter Eggs video, Spencer carries Elsa Dutton's knife that was gifted to her by her Comanche husband Sam in 1883. So that's three things already that Spencer has going for him that his older brother John Sr. didn't. One, glorious mustache. Two, the fortuitous Dutton family heirloom. And three, he's still alive. Harsh, but true. And then there's the real number three, Elsa's opening 1923 narration. The words of Spencer's older sister from beyond the grave kind of spoil it all if you listen closely. Only one would carry the fate of this family through the Depression and every other hail the 20th century hurled at them. Even beyond all of this, the Spencer Dutton that studly Brandon Sklenar is giving us certainly feels far more like the direct ancestor to Yellowstone's John and Beth than Jack and Elizabeth do. But as Emma and Kara Dutton tell us in 1923, there's a whole lot of fire in those two as well. I was hoping his wife would take some of the fire out of the next generation. It seems your son is marrying gasoline, my dear. And the fire will only get bigger. 
And daggum if Jack doesn't remind me so much of Casey. So if Jack and Elizabeth do end up having a child, everything will line up with what Tim McGraw said in the 1883 bonus features, which is that his James Dutton of 1883 is the great-great-grandfather of Costner's John Dutton. Now that's two greats, remember. But if Spencer is the one to father the next Duttons, though, then that'll eliminate a great from that title, as he's a generation ahead of his nephew, Jack. And this, my friends, would line up with what McGraw originally told me in our interview that he is, in fact, the great-grandfather of Costner's John. Faith also likes to say that she thinks that since she's Kevin's great-grandmother, that he, he looks more like her than he does me. <laughs> Mind blown. And then there's another possibility entirely for Spencer that would be just as impactful. It could wind up that Spencer and Alexandra are, in fact, the Duttons that birthed the ancestors of Jamie Dutton's biological mother, or Jamie's biological mother herself. A woman Yellowstone has continually teased us over but has never revealed the identity of. Could Jamie truly be a Dutton by blood courtesy of his mother's lineage and Spencer? And is this why Jamie's bio dad, Garrett Randall, kept telling him his right to the family legacy was stolen out from under him? I have no agenda but giving you back the family that you never had and a legacy that he robbed from you. Or is Spencer the true grandfather to Yellowstone's John Dutton? We'll find out as 1923 continues exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to Outsider as we continue to bring you all things Yellowstone. We'll see you all soon.